Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we are going to be talking about how to add another widget area to your theme. And now you might be using a child theme or you might be building your own theme, but either way, the process is the same. So to add a widget area, we need to do two things. We need to first tell WordPress that a new widget area exists, and that will uh, make the widget area show up on your widgets page. And then from that step on, you can add items, uh, available widgets to your widget area. However, simply adding items to your widget area and telling WordPress your widget area exists does not make it show up on your site. What we then have to do is go into one of our templates files and wherever we so choose to display this widget area, we need to give a little bit of code that displays whatever widgets are going to show up in this widget area and then don't show up anything uh, if there are no widgets in this area. So great, let's get started. Uh, head to your functions.php file and we're going to start adding things there. So just like in our last example, what we need is a function that's going to uh, add this widget area, and then we need to add a hook that's going to run this function uh, in a particular um, example or a particular reason. Cool, so uh, what we wanna do is we first want to write this function and last time you remember that we preface uh, preface our functions with our theme name in this case since we're using a child theme we're going to say function and then uh, 2014 underscore child underscore and then the name of the function is going to be widgets underscore init uh, like initialize so then we're gonna have two semi or uh, two parentheses, curly brackets, and then in between our curly brackets, we're going to use this existing function called register sidebar. Now, don't be put off by the name register sidebar. It's not actually going to force anything about a sidebar. We're just registering a widget area. So it's gonna say register underscore sidebar, and then parentheses. Okay, now uh, keep in mind we're gonna finish this off with a semicolon like that. Now what we want to pass into this is, uh, it needs to be wrapped in an array, so we need to say array and then parentheses. And you can put this parenthesis on the same line as the other one just to make it nice and tidy here like that. And what goes in here is going to be essentially uh, an object or uh, an object of what we want our options to be for this widget area. So first and foremost, we need to give it a name. So inside of quotes, we can say name. Outside of the quotes, we're going to say equals greater than, which is basically uh, adding this as the value to name. And so in quotes here again we're going to give this a name so we can say this is going to be uh, just for sake of being able to see this easily we can call this level up new widget area okay and that's a really long-winded name for no particular reason other than it's going to be easy to see now we need a comma because on the next line we're going to add something else it's going to be again in quotes ID and you'll see a pattern here where once again going to have the equals greater than and then in the quotes here again we're going to give it an ID this is going to be an all lowercase no spaces so underscore for spaces um, version of your name up new widget area sure uh, please give your widget area the name of what you would expect this to be used for uh, so that it makes sense to you and not just use something like level up new widget area because this is just obviously a filler text for this particular example. Now, we next thing we need to have is what comes before the widget and what comes after the widget. So this is going to be before underscore widget. So this is essentially what HTML element is going to wrap 
your widget. So we want to just say because this is going to be a side content, it doesn't aside known HTML5 aside, the aside element does not actually denote something that's on the side or sidebar content, but something that's not main content. So we could say aside cool comma. Now we want to say uh, after widget. Um, you can spell this. Keep in mind that you can always copy this example directly out of the WordPress codex. I'll paste a link. That way you don't have to type it to make sure that you're not messing anything up and modify it as needed. Now this is the closing tag for the aside. Keep in mind, before and after widget are the element that's wrapping our widget. Now we need a before and after title to keep in mind what we want the title to be like, what element we'd like to use for the title of the widget area. So we can say before title, and again, equals greater than. And this is also going to be an element. We could say h3 with a class of and see how I'm using double quotes in here? Because we're using single quotes on the outside, you can safely use double quotes in here. So I'm just giving this a class of widget title. You can add a, a title of whatever you'd like or a class of whatever you'd like. Now, after title, okay, equals greater than. And then once again, we're going to close out this element. Okay, so now we have our function. The function exists, and um, actually you can have a comma here. You don't need a comma after the last one, but might as well. Um, we have our function here that's going to register our widget. If we save this, you will notice this widget area does not exist yet. We still just have our three widget areas. So how do we get this to show up? Well, we need to actually run this function. Keep in mind, just, just by declaring this function, this is never run, therefore a uh, sidebar is never registered. So to register a sidebar, let's add an action like we did before, add underscore action, and then in parentheses, the action hook that we're going to hook into is widgets underscore init. So when the widgets are initializing, run this function is what we're going to say. So the function is going to go in as a string here, and that is just this name of our function. This is going to look familiar because it's the same thing that we did when we wanted to enqueue our script. We hooked in and then we ran our function. Okay, so we've added our function. Now keep in mind we need to wrap this all up with a semicolon, and I've saved it here. Now let's come to our widget page and refresh. And voila, we now have the level up new widget area that we can drag widgets into just like any of these other widget areas. That's pretty fantastic. So that's how you add a widget area. In the next video, we're gonna continue adding a widget by modifying one of our template files to add the widget area so that when we add widgets, they actually show up on our site because right now if we do, they're not going to show up at all. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Touch. If you have any questions or comments or anything, leave it on the video. Uh, hopefully somebody can get to it or I can get to it or anybody can help. Asking comments is always appreciated even if I'm not personally able to answer them myself. So uh, just check it out, try it, let me know what your, your thoughts are. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one, bye.